Hello and welcome to SoftExpert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can add custom fonts to your Elementor for free. So as you know, the custom fonts option is only available in Elementor Pro that you can see here. And if you can afford Elementor Pro, you can follow the link in the description and you can get Elementor Pro and you can use this option seamlessly. But if you don't have budget for Elementor Pro and you want to do it for free, then you can follow this tutorial and I'll show you how you can add this for free. So as you can see, the custom fonts option is only available in Pro version. And if I edit any page with Elementor, for example, the home page, this is by the way a photo studio website that I created in my last video. And by the way, the client asked for a font, which is this one. Go for Hewitt fonts. Now this is not available in Elementor. Let me show you. If I click this and go to style, typography, and then I'll search for that. Here you can see that font is not available. And that's because this is a premium font. Now I have this font and I have downloaded this. Let me show you. You can see this is the font family. And we have all the variations of the font. Now we can just upload these to our WordPress for free and we can use this in Elementor. Let's see how. So the first thing is you will need a simple free plugin for that. You can just go to your plugins, add new. And here search for custom fonts. And you will see a number of plugins. The one that we will need is this one. Custom fonts, host your fonts locally and this is by Brainstorm Force. So just install and activate this plugin. By the way, once you download this font any font that will be in zip format so you can just extract that okay first you will need to extract this so i'll open this file then i'll select all and uh, let's create a new folder on desktop something like this and uh, i'll extract all files to this folder just unzip the files okay now let's close this and uh, we can upload any of these to our WordPress. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard and the plugin is activated. And you can find it under appearance and custom fonts. And you can just click on add new font. And here you can write your font name. So I'll write the same name which is this. Okay sorry we will need to write here. So you can see supported file types are OTF, TTF, O, FF and so on. And you can find these here in this folder. You can see this is OTF, OTF and so on. So most of the fonts comes with OTF format, you can use this. You can also upload the bold, bold italic, the normal one and so on. For now let's use bold. As I need this file heading, so I'll upload this file, okay. I'll choose file. And we can drag and drop a file here. So I'll open that folder and we'll use this. Or instead of this, we can use the medium one. I'll also show you how you can add variation to this font. Okay, just use font. And now this is our font. By the way, if you want this in regular format, you can use that. You can use medium. You can use heavy, which will be extra bold, like this, and so on. Let's choose medium for now, the style will be normal and we will just click on save font. If you want to add a variation to that, you can just click on this and we can add a new font like any variation. So I'll choose file and this time I'll upload a bold which is this one. I'll use it and instead of this font I'll use bold. Ok this is the first one so let's keep it as medium. In this second one we will choose bold. So now you can see this is the medium with 500 and this is the bold with 700. You can add as many variation as you want. Like you can add bold, extra bold, bold italic and so on. But let's say this is fine for now so I'll just save font. And that's it. Now let's try this out in Elementor. So I'll go back to Elementor. I'll need to refresh this page. And let's edit the same heading again. We'll go to style, typography, and this time you can see under custom font we have this scope for habit font. We can use that, and that's it. So, this is how you can add custom fonts to your Elementor website if you're looking for free without using Elementor Pro. And you can also check the discount links in the description for Elementor Pro hosting and so on. 
and to learn more about WordPress and Elementor, you can follow my channel. I have lots of videos about WordPress and Elementor. And still, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.